Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, this is Nita here with Human Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're talking about length problems. We've used a ruler that we've been using over the last few days <coughs> to draw some lines here on the board. And if you have your workbook, if you pull it out, you'll have an opportunity to see the strings that we're using even in the workbook to make the same point. If you have two lines, two strings, or two objects that have varying lengths, such as 45 centimeters, and 17 centimeters. And if you want to find out what's the difference between these two lengths, well, these are what we call length problems. What you're trying to do is find the difference. You just do the same basic subtraction that you've always, that you've learned, uh, maybe starting in grade one. Uh, what you're going to do is, <clears throat> if I were you, I would use the count on method because this is assuming that you don't have a pencil and paper and you can do all this uh, mathematical uh, problem on your on your worksheet. Instead, it assumes that you just have your mind. So what you can do, <clears throat> if, if you want to find the difference between 45 and 17, you can firstly take the 17 and round it up, round it up to the nearest 10. What would that number be? That number is 20. But keep in mind that you have to go back and account for those three, right? So just pin it in your mind. I'll go back and get those three. But from 20 to 45, what is that? 20 from 20 to 30, 40, that's 20. And then from 40 to 45 is 25. So from 20 to 45 is 25 centimeters. And then if you go back and get those three that you placed over there, that's 25 plus three, that's 28 centimeters. Therefore, 45 minus 17, 45, Minus 17 is 28 centimeters. And that was very easy. Did you find that to be very easy in your mind, even without resorting to pencil and paper? I hope so. At this point, I hope you can do the count on method really easily. We're going to try again. Here we have uh, 15 to 27 centimeters. We want to find out what's the difference between these two lengths. This is 27, this is 15. What's the difference? Well, what we're going to do is we need to get this 15 up to the nearest 10, to the, to the next 10. So that's to 20. So what's the difference between 10, 15 and 20? That's 5, right? That's 5. So pin that in your mind as we go from 20 to 27. What is 20 to 27? That's 7. So now you have 5 plus 7, which is 12. Therefore, 27 minus 15 is 12 centimeters. Let's write that down as well. Okay, so 27, so the difference between these two lengths is 12 centimeters. The difference between these two lengths is 28 centimeters. Hopefully you're taking opportunities throughout um, your life and around your home to calculate, you know, differences. 
using the count on method, which is a mental method. That way you become more and more confident subtracting in your mind. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend So don't you worry